I first got into wildlife at a very young age. It was when I was crawling, literally crawling around the garden of our suburban home in Southampton. And initially it was about all of the things I could find there. So it was ladybirds, it was tadpoles, it was violet ground beetles. It was very simple organisms. But what drew me to them were several things. Firstly, they were all perfect and they were all beautiful, absolutely perfect and beautiful. The other thing was there was an enormous diversity of them, all shapes and sizes, and every form had a function. And I loved looking at them and thinking, well, if that's got great big mandibles, my mother and father would explain, well, it's probably a predatory animal. So then I'd think, oh, what's it eating? And that was the second stage when I realised that all of these creatures in our small garden weren't existing independently of one another. They were, in fact, all coexisting in that in that place. In fact, there was an ecology there. Obviously, I didn't know the word at the time. This was the early 60s. I was probably about six years old by this stage. But I, I've begun to understand that all of these things were, were, were sustainably and harmoniously living in this small garden. And then I jumped over the fence and I landed somewhere like this um, in amongst the woods. And all of a sudden, it wasn't ladybirds and tadpoles. It was foxes and badgers and deer and grass snakes and, and all of the bird species that, uh, that I encountered there. And I loved all of that. That was just so exciting. And it hasn't stopped. I think if you've got that intrinsic curiosity and a fascination for the natural world, you're never going to you know, satisfy it. In a lifetime, I will never know everything I'd like to know about this piece of oak woodland that I'm sat in. You know, I can't tell you too much about the you know, fungal diversity here. I mean, I know the obvious species. I could probably name the fruiting bodies of about 10 or 20 in here with their common name, not even their scientific name. So, you know, if I get bored, maybe one year I'll just go fungal. So that, that inexhaustible appetite and the inexhaustible supply means that you're never going to tire of nature.